Welcome to another video. In this video, I will be going to explain the disadvantages of low power factor. So before going into the detail of this video, I am assuming that you already you already know what is power factor and what are apparent, real and reactive powers. So if you don't know about these terminologies, the link is shown at the top of this video where you can watch the video about these powers. So coming back to the main topic, which is the disadvantages of low power factor. So I will explain this phenomena with the help of two examples. The first is we have a generator whose rating is 120 kVA and the rated voltage of this generator is 400 volt. So this generator will going to feed a resistive load, a purely resistive load whose voltage to current angle is equal to zero and the total power, active power of this load is 120 kilowatt. So I am interested in finding how much current will this load be drawing from this generator. So this is the formula for the real or the useful power which is equal to under root 3 times line to line voltage and line to line current multiplied by power factor which is cos theta. In the purely resistive circuit we have theta equal to 0. So whenever we put theta equal to 0, the cos theta comes out to be 1. So for finding the current, we rearrange this formula and putting the values of all the quantities. The load power is equal to 120 kilowatt, voltage is 400 and cos theta is equal to 1. So the total current is 173 ampere which this load is drawing from this generator. So Next, we have to compute this active power and the reactive power according to this formula. By putting the values, the P comes out to be 120 kilowatt. Reactive power comes out to be zero since it is a purely resistive circuit. Now, let's find out how much kVA is required to provide these quantities. So as we all know, the parent power is equal to under root P square plus Q square by entering the values, we can see here that the required power is 120 kVA, which is same as this of generator. Now, let's assume that now we have a load, which is a combination of a resistor and an inductor and whose theta, which is the angle between the voltage and current is now 53 degree. So the total power factor, which is cos theta of this load is now 0.6. Again, Generator capacity is 120 kVA and the voltage is 400 volts. Now let's find out how much current is this load is drawing whose power is exactly the same as of the resistive load which is 120 kilowatt. So the same power but different cos theta which is equal to 0.6 the total current comes out to be 288 ampere which is almost 100 ampere more in case of pure resistive load with the same power capacity. Now you can see here even though the load is of same power it is drawing 100 amps more from the source. So in order to provide this much current what will be the capacity of the generator. So again we have to compute P and Q and in that case the P comes out to be 120 kilowatt and Q which is the waste of the power comes out to be 160 kVR. By putting these values in the apparent power formula, the apparent power comes out to be 200 kVA. Now you will need 200 kVA of generator to feed the same load of capacity 120 kilowatt. We can conclude the disadvantages of low power factor is that you will require larger equipment which include wires, transformers and generator to feed the same load but with low power factor. And also, since the load has the low power factor, it will draw more current and there will be more transmission losses as the transmission losses is equal to I square R. So this is a distribution transformer which is providing electricity to the residential area. The rating of this transformer is 25 kVA at cos theta equal to 0.8. So we can compute the total active power which this transformer can provide according to this formula which comes out to be 20 kilowatts. So 
the maximum current that this transformer can provide comes out to be 36 ampere according to this formula. So let's suppose there is a house which has a total load of 10 kilowatt at very low power factor which is equal to 0.5 because most of the appliances installed in a house is inductive. So I am assuming the total power factor of this house is 0.5. So again by using the three phase power formula we can see that this house is drawing 29 ampere from this transformer. Our transformer can now supply 7 more ampere because the maximum capacity is 36 ampere and the one house is drawing 29 ampere. So if we convert these ampere's into the total power that a transformer can supply this comes out to be 4 kilowatt. So what we infer from this information is that we are only drawing 14 kilowatt of useful power from this transformer and the rest of the power which is 6 kilowatt is wasted due to the poor power factor. So these are the disadvantages of low power factor. I hope you completely understand and in next video I will going to tell you how to improve this power factor. So I hope you like this video. For more interesting video please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.